Hey, have you ever been to a museum where you look at art and you say, I can do that? Well, who knew that these little plaster discs would inspire me to try something totally outside my box and attempt and challenge myself to make some contemporary neutral art. I'm challenging myself to try a neutral palette, which is not like me at all. Now let's take these plaster discs and dive in. Welcome Sea Rockers. Well, I challenge myself to make some contemporary art and here we are. I'm starting off with some DOS clay and making what I'm gonna say is an abstract contemporary landscape. <laughs> So building the landscape, I started, like I said, with the uh, DOS clay, which is an air dry clay, which is super because I can just put it right on the uh, project board and uh, just leave it there and let it cure. So we wanted to create a piece that neutral in nature, high contrast, high texture, but also representational of water and land. So this part is the water. Lots of flow, lots of movement. Once that clay has been uh, dried and cured, I'm gonna go ahead and seal the board and the clay together with some gesso. Now sticking with that Nutra palette, I'm gonna use some uh, white stained glass in varying degrees of iridescence. The tools I'll be using with my glass are glass nippers, running pliers, and some glass cutters. And then my two very favorite tools to use are tweezers and the pokey dental tool, which I use for everything, no matter if it's glass or not. So around those circles, I'm gonna create a, a glass mosaic and we'll grout that and that'll be quite interesting. And as you can see, I'm going for a neutral look, which is again, very challenging for me because I just love color and that's part of who I am is, is very vibrant and playful and, and doing neutrals is very different for me and a huge stretch and kind of challenging all at the same time. <laughs> so not only is it contemporary art, which I'm not necessarily used to doing, it's also neutral art, which I'm totally not used to doing. And if you've been enjoying this art challenge so far, I appreciate it if you'd splash that like button. And by the magic of editing, we are just about done and ready to tape it off and add some grout. The grout I'm using today is a ready-to-use sanded grout from Home Depot and you can just use it right out of the tub. Once the grout is dry enough for me to clean it up, I will, and in the meantime, I will start on the other side and repeat the same process. I just need to wait for the grout to dry so that I can clean up the glass tiles without wiping out the grout that I just put down there. But basically, this is how it looks so far. Once it's done, then I'll take that blue tape off and we're ready for the next step. Unfortunately, this next step had some technical difficulties and I didn't get <laughs> the uh, beating process on video. So anyway, here we are. I'm using the Judykins Diamond Glaze. Again, my favorite when I use beads. And I just put that down, put the beads on it, and it holds fabulous. And then what I also do is use the glue on top and it dries clear, it dries shiny, and it's perfect for this kind of work. Mm -hmm. 
once I've let things dry a little bit, I like to go through and kind of poke at the beads and just to see if they're loose or not. And then I'll just take this glue and squirt it right over the top. And it just, it's runny enough that it uh, seeps down onto the others. It doesn't form a big glob and it just holds so well. Now these plaster discs were the inspiration for this whole piece. And I'm gonna go ahead and seal them with some gesso, but I'm also gonna show you how to make them. Make these cool discs, you're gonna need something hard and flat and something nonstick like the saran wrap, plaster Paris, some water, something to mix your plaster in. And I use a disposable spoon because I can just toss it. Now I said these discs were an inspiration, so they came from somebody else. So I did not come up with this technique and I will link uh, the artists that did in my description, but Studio Spindler is who made this short and that's where I saw it and I got inspired. So thank you Studio Spindler for the inspiration. I appreciate it. The basic idea is you're gonna take the plaster, put it in the container, add some water. Now I will say, don't add too much water because I did that and I had to redo it. <laughs> anyway, until you get to this really nice thick consistency, but I will warn you, it goes super fast. And then all of a sudden you, you have to get it out of the container before it hardens. Then you just plop it on the tray, hit, uh, you know, kind of bounce your tray, hit your tray to flatten them out, and then just wait for them to dry. Now, just like a cooking show, I have the finished product and I wanted to show you two different types that I did. I did a type just like this that are uh, flat. And then I also did some that I purposefully made the bottom um, have texture because I wanted to see how it would uh, work out and it's kind of cool. So, you know, depending on what you're looking for and what you want to achieve, uh, you can get both results. Well, I couldn't stand it and I painted everything black. Oh, I'm kidding. I couldn't stand it because I needed something else in there besides white. So I went with a, a contrasting uh, color, still a neutral piece of art in the scheme of things. And I went ahead and just painted this larger board black, sealed it with some varnish, and then I'm gonna put my piece right in the middle of it. And I think it looks quite elegant with the, uh, the contrast of the white and the black. So I just secured everything with some E6000 glue. And then I went ahead and also added the discs to the piece and stay tuned for the reveal, the complete piece. I will show you. Now I apologize for the lighting because I was fighting with the rain clouds to get this video in. So while this was a stretch and a challenge for myself, I really like how it turned out. And let me tell you my favorite parts. So I'm totally digging the 3D and dimension of those discs. That, I, I just, I really like the abstractness of it the contrasting between the colors, the white and the black, and the contrasting of the textures. I have the smooth discs and the, the ripply beads. And how about the glass, the shine of the glass, the iridescence of the glass, and the contrast of the glass with the discs and the matte grout. I just think it turned out so well and it works so well together. And I'm quite proud of myself if I do say so. <laughs> But as usual, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed yourself and that you might try something outside of your box as well. I invite you to join the Sea Rocker family. Like, share, and subscribe with your salty friends and hit all those bells. Don't forget to visit my website and my other social media platforms. Thanks for watching and until next time, go beach or go home.